This time I will show you how to make zinc powder from a large ingot. I was just experimenting, so I don't have footage from the beginning, but you will get the idea. What you can see here is not really thought true, I was learning in the process. If I would be doing this the second time, I would do it differently. What I got here is molten zinc ingot directly on my stove surface, which is a bad idea, but I did it this way, because I was not sure if the stove could deliver 420 degrees to the zinc trough the pot, but as I found out it can. Okay, those are just the details, what is important is the overall pro- The idea is to melt the zinc and keep it moving in any way while it solidifies. There is a temperature near the melting point when zinc becomes brittle. You can see what I am trying to do here melting, shaking, and sieving off the large chunks. I tried to use a mixer, to keep it moving, this actually worked fine. Here you can see the mistake I made, I was in a rush, so I cooled the stove with water. Normally it would be fine, but because there is a layer of zinc in the top heat transferred way too fast and ceramic surface could not withstand the thermal shock and cracked a bit. Anyway after cleaning up the mess with acids here I have a large pot of zinc sand. I let it through 0.1 mm mesh and separated the large pieces. The large pieces was then milled in a coffee mill and sieved again. You can sieve the powder with finer mesh but I don't have one, so I stop here. About 70% of zinc was chopped to particles finer than 0.1 mm, this powder is useful in chemistry and even work with pyrotechnics, and is much easier to ball mill if finer powder is needed. Last thing to do is put the powder in a container and store it for later use. That's all, I hope you find this useful, thank you for watching, like and subscribe for more.